Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Jordan and we're here at uh, the Lacrosse Wisconsin Bassmaster Elite Series event. Uh, it's been a crazy event. Uh, when we got here the water was falling and getting low and getting right uh, and then we had about 10 inches of rain and or during practice and the river flooded and it's just changed everything up but that's kind of expected on a river I guess. I don't like it but that's what happened. Uh, changed up a lot of the stuff. I think if it hadn't have flooded uh, this tournament probably would have been one on smallmouth. I don't really like to catch smallmouth that much and I'm not a smallmouth expert at all but I found the smallmouth in practice let me tell you as good as I've ever found them. Uh, and I found them on the current breaks, uh, main river stuff, bars like that and here in the tournament uh, that's all chocolate mud and it's washed away. So i uh, not real excited about that but I was, sure was excited after practice going to the tournament. I thought I could catch 15 to maybe even 20 pounds of smallmouth every day it was it was ridiculous uh, but anyway some of the baits I used to catch them and it was like every cast schools I mean they were really biting but this uh, LVRTO 150 lipless crankbait uh, the water was really clear in some of those those you know eddies and some of those current breaks and they were feeding on very small bait fish so uh, this ghost minnow color really is a natural look and uh, man I I almost didn't want to have to throw this in the tournament because they were eating it so good they had it down their throat every time and it's hard to unhook them and they were bleeding and stuff so anyway but it, it was a catching the snot out of them uh, this flash pointer uh, yesterday I uh, actually caught about 10 small mouse in the last 10 minutes that got me from 10 pounds up to almost 12 pounds and I lost two or three good ones too that would have done me a lot better than that but they were eating that alive uh, a lot of the paint's gone around these hooks and it was uh, brand new yesterday that's just from a little bit of workout yesterday in some clear water. Got them on that uh, and caught it, uh, several uh, and they quit on that. Then I picked up the, the, the flash corner and uh, went to work on them and it was unbelievable. Caught one of my first four casts was it when I changed it out. Uh, and always a gunfish. Uh, when you have clear water and some current, especially with smallmouth in the fall, uh, you can really get them going on that gunfish. Uh, I caught several in the, in the first day of the tournament on it, but the water was getting muddier and muddier. It just kind of went away on me, but uh, had it stayed the same, I'm telling you. If you wanted to get a big bite and a big smallmouth to come unglued and come bite something, that's something that you want to have tied on. Plus, you get to throw it on braid, you can throw it a mile, and you can really power fish and uh, put, the, put the screws to them and get them in the boat quick. So, anyway, uh, that's what I've been using, and I will continue to use that if I find some pockets of clear water tomorrow if I make the cut and I'm kind of on the bubble right now I hope I get the fish tomorrow but uh, either way awesome practice challenging tournament typical for the elite series uh, I hope I get a crack at them tomorrow to make some more adjustments so uh, that's what we do and uh, we will be off to the next one after this one